Okay, so we're back back up to the Windows screen. We're still in the same boat here. We don't have um, the password for this, so we still can't log in. But this little ease of access icon, if we click this now, it gives us a DOS prompt, a command prompt. There's two things you can do at this point. The first one is going to be attempting to reset the password for this user. Uh, but what I prefer to do is just to create another user in there, just an admin user. So I can log in as that admin user. And as you can see where I have this little arrow here, I have already done this once. So I'm going to create a new one. What we're going to do, we'll go net user add and then let's give it uh, admin2. Okay, so I've added the admin2 user. Now I want to add it to the administrators group. To the local uh, net local group. Administrator. So what this is going to do is add this admin2 user to the local administrators group on this machine. Admin2 slash add. So net local group administrators admin2, which is user I created, slash add. Boom. There we go. So now we have a new user on there. Well, I called it admin2. Uh, no password. And it's a local admin. So from this point, uh, I can exit out of this, and let's go, we're going to do a reboot. Let's go over here, switch user. So this is the new one I just created, admin2. Click on that, welcome, and we are getting into Windows. And there we go. So it's set up... Uh, an account. I'm logged into Windows. Down, there's desktop. We're into the desktop. Settings. We'll go to the control panel. User accounts and family safety. We'll go to user accounts. I'm in as admin2. First thing I would do here is put a password on it. Um, just so this one's safe because I would leave this on there. I'll manage another account. So we'll go back over to the original account. Select that one. Change the password. the new password in. And there we go. We've changed the password for the main user. And we're going to, going to sign out from this user. And we will sign in as the original user with the new password that I just set. And when I go in, she has all her all her information. Everything is set up the way it was before. Everything is back the way it was. Um, now there's some cleanup we have to do here as well. So I have an admin account to get in, which is an administrator, and then the normal user your best bet is to create a backup account, an admin account, set the password, store it somewhere, somewhere safe. Now we want to do some cleaning up because that option, uh, we don't really want to leave that command prompt so that if anybody walked up to it they could actually go in and reboot to a command prompt and get into the computer. So we're going to go back out. I have to boot off the Linux CD again just so I can go in and change those change those files around. We're going to quickly go into here again. We're going to go back to Legacy. 
Uh, we're going to reboot back into Linux. So I'll hit an F12 as it's coming back up. I'll go into Linux. I'll put the files back the way they were. Okay, so we're back in to Linux again. Um, I'll go back to the Windows hard drive. Under Windows, System32, and we find Utilman. So remember, the utilman.exe is actually the command prompt. So we want to get rid of that just to get rid of this back door that we have. Right click, we're going to, we're going to move it to trash, trash it. And this one here, we're going to right click, rename, so this is our original. Okay, now we're finished, we're finished in Linux again. So we have to go back into the BIOS. So get, set the, uh, the boot mode again. We'll restart the computer. F2. We're going to change it from legacy back to UEFI. We're going to exit again. Let this boot up into Windows. All right. So when I go over to this, click here. Look at that. So you tell me it's back to where it was, and I can go over. type the password properly and we're in. So that is kind of a long video but it is very easy to actually go back in and reset your password if you lose it running Windows 8 with the uh, secure secure mode. And if you have any questions please let me know. Uh, just leave a comment, video response, anything like that and uh, I'll keep an eye out and see if I can answer them for you. Thanks for watching.